What up guys, my name is Relix27 and this is Upland School and today we are going to talk about treasure hunting. So first of all, before we start the video, if, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for even more. That being said, let's go. I will drop the link below for Upland Academy. Upland Academy just shows you and um, you know the ways you can earn UPX and Upland really helpful for the newcomers. That being said, let's go to compete in treasure hunts. So in this game mode, players have to use a block explorer to jump across the map in order to find a treasure that spawns on a random minted property. Yes, minted property. So unminted properties, there won't be a treasure on unminted properties. It is a winner, it takes it all game mode and you can earn a lot of UPX depending on the type of treasure. Some treasure hunts are competitive, meaning you will compete versus other players, while in other hunting modes you are only playing against the clock. There are three types of treasure hunts. In standard hunts you compete versus the clock. So before we move on with reading, let me just show you. So when you press on the three dots you can see treasures and you have different treasures. So, by the way, before we move on as well, uh, we have tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 city for the new players. Uh, tier 1 is popular city that's big as well, just like Los Angeles. Los Angeles is more expensive for transaction fees to send on, your, uh, to send on properties. As an example, when taking this property, we will pay 50 UPX. As default transactions you can adjust this each player can adjust its own property uh property transaction fees but on default uh in los angeles it's 50 upx as an example this is los angeles when we go to bakersfield bakersfield is a three uh tier three city the transactions over here are less like way less it's five upx but keep in mind Treasure hunting in Bakersfield goes quicker because it's so smaller, but you get less reward. Plus, it's so cheap to travel around compared to Los Angeles. Los Angeles is very big, very expensive to uh, send the whole day and go treasure hunting, but you will have more rewards. Um, that being said, uh, I will show to you in a bit and I will treasure hunt myself. So before we move on, you have practice, obviously this is tutorial. Uh, we have riot mode. The more players that are active hunting uh, that are actively hunting on treasures, riot mode will be activated. So right now 53 players are hunting. So what does this mean? The riot mode it means double in value. If you don't understand anything, just click on this button over here. So riot mode, once a certain amount of uplanders are actively hunting for a treasure, riot mode will turn on and any spawn treasures on the competitive tiers will be doubled in value as long as riot mode is in place. But the riot mode is only for these two, the classic and the exclusive one, a limited and exclusive one. That being said, all 54 players are competing in riot mode, I mean in limited or exclusive uh, treasure. So what does this mean? This mean, it means that once uh, you can hunt on exclusive and limited, every 55 or every 52 players can win that treasure. You only have one treasure uh, that, can, that can be hunted. And once it's hunted, it needs to be, uh, like it's, it needs some time to reload back again. So only one winner, you, you can only have one winner with these two. And then we have the uh, standard uh, treasure hunting. And yes, you can earn here sparks as well, especially during the spark week. That's why we are making this video before the spark week. Well, stand, standard treasure hunting, uh, you are the only one that is, that is competing uh, for the treasure. So no one else out of the 53 players hunting right now can get this treasure. They can all only get this one with like only one player can, can get this one but each player is indi individual when playing um the standard one before we move on let me just check what they say 
So treasure hunt basics, treasures will only spawn on minted properties, higher probability of treasure spawning in a populated area of a city. So this means tier 1 and tier 2 and tier 3 cities, what I just explained. All treasures are winner takes it all, there is no UPX prize for second place and beyond. Winner has, has to face a cooldown of 3 hours, doesn't see any hints during cooldown, I don't get this one. UPX amount varies depending on type of treasure. So as an example, um, with the standard treasure in tier 1, you can get between 230 UP UPX and 6300. Um, okay, so bonus UPX with the right mode. Competitive treasures have a piñata minigame at the end. Okay, competitive treasures are only one winner out of the 50 players, 52 players. So the, as an example, um, let me just tell you something before we are going to treasure hunt. The more properties all over a city, the quicker, the cheaper and more UPX you can make and the more uh, you can hunt. Because in each city, not in each, in each tier city, you have a limited pickup sense. So as an example, when you press on your avatar, and you press on this paper plane ish you can see other own properties and you see here a six so this means you can send six more times before you run out of cents uh, well how do we pick up cents it's really easy you just zoom in a little bit until you see the properties like right now uh, cents as well as treasure only spawns at minted neighborhoods uh, we just need to find cents. You know what? It's too empty over here. I'm just going to Sherman Oaks. There you go. Zoom a little bit in. Okay, there you go. So this paper plane, if you take this, you can pick up uh, cents. As an example, we pay 50 UPX. So the more properties you have, the cheaper, uh, the more UPX you can make while treasure hunting because each time you need to pick up a cent, uh, you need to pay transaction fees each time you send to a property. Um, and while treasure hunting, while treasure hunting, you are uh, sometimes if you have not much properties, you need to go from one property to another one, sending the whole time. That costs one money, two, you need to uh, that cost time as well because you need to pick up cents. And three, that's really important. You need you have only in Los Angeles in tier one city, you only you can only pick up 90 times cents as a daily limit. So after picking up 90 times, you will get on your screen, you can pick up your daily limit is reached. And that being said, let's go. So I have a, I have not much. I see treasure, uh, I see like people hunting on treasures with a lot of property all over in LA. So this is spawn treasure. This is a standard one, 230 to 6,600. Before we move on, I will drop this picture as well. And this is really helpful. That's this one. Um, so we have indicators that I will just show you in a bit. So let's spawn for free. First one is free of the day. In tier one, it costs 200, uh, 100 UPX to spawn. Uh, and tier 2 it costs 50 UPX and tier 3 I'm not sure sending to your own property is free you don't pay transaction fees and you don't use cents that's why you need to have why you need to have a lot of properties uh, treasure so we can see this indicator and this indicator tells us that it is bigger than three kil kilometers uh, you see you see the blinking arrow the quicker it blinks the so the like the less um like the sooner it blinks the near the more nearby you are but like you're very nearby than if you have this one it's less than 40 meters i'm just going to send to my own properties each time until i see my uh, arrow going from this to this um it takes a little bit practice it takes a little bit time but eventually when you get it it's really just just doing so you can see one blinking it goes very slow that means it's like it's not nearby 
So I'm going to send myself over here and to check if it's between um, because I don't have a lot of properties. So I'm just going to send over here and see if it's between those two properties. That's that's what, how I do. Um, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. There you go. And let's OK. You see it right now gives two blinking arrows. So that means I think it's still far away. It's not 500 meters. I think maybe it is. I don't know, but um, you know, I didn't treasure hunt a lot, so that's a mistake I did. I'm just going to send one of my pro to my one of my properties over here and to see if I'm nearby or if it is between somewhere there. And then I can uh, estimate how far or where the treasure is. So um, you see, it's still blinking to the right, and that's what exactly what I knew. And like you guys can see, I don't have any properties over here. So I need to send each time to another person's property. We have two minutes and 40 seconds left. I'm going to Lincoln Heights over here. Zoom in and send. And each time we are right now sending cost 50 UPX, sometimes even more depending on the place transaction fees on the property. So right now it says up by the way do you see the blinking it goes quicker right now that means we are between 500 and uh, three kilometers so i would suggest our, somewhere over here uh, let me just send maybe to here i think even further a little bit uh sent 50 upx so that's basically 100 upx um and normally treasure you see it's still saying go up um so unfortunately i'm just going i'm just gonna go over here i think i go too far but not a problem so right now we have spent 140 upx only by sending and we need to pick up sense soon it is still showing to go up so you need to uh you need to practice a little bit to overpower these indicators and make an estimate where it could be. I think I went way too far right now. Uh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, uh, well, we are very nearby. I think it's somewhere over here. I think somewhere over here. So sent. And we have found the treasure. So before we open, you can win Sparks or you can get UPX. You won't get a lot of Sparks in Tier 1 in Los Angeles. What I've re received two times is 0 0.02 Sparks. 0 0.02. That's not much. But during the Spark Week, what I will show you, you can earn a lot of more Sparks, like double the amount. So we have received 330 UPX. Did we make any profit? Not much. Usually you pay for the treasure to be spawned and that's 100 UPX. If I would do that, uh, like you have one free treasure. If I didn't have the free treasure and I, I would pay 100 UPX, we would make a loss. That that That's that's like, that's the whole thing. When going to Upland site on community, we can go to news and event. So we can see get ready for Spark Week and usually when you level up in Spark Week you get a little bit more Sparks than you wouldn't do in status Spark Rewards. So Monday February 14th, that's today, it's my birthday by the way, 9 a.m. PT. So when leveling up I know for Director I received 0 0.5, I did not wait for a status up, uh, status up Spark re Rewards. So I received 0 0.5 sparks. I missed out 0 0.1 spark. That's around $46 what, what I missed. Because one spark is 460. I think 0 0.1 is 46-ish. I'm not sure. That being said, you can buy sparks as well. Oh, there you go. 0 0.1 cost $55. That's a lot. Um, we have boosted Spark Treasure on Thursday, February 17, 9 a.m. PT. A new Sparked Up Treasure will go live. This special treasure tier will remain active through next weekend and will conclude uh, at the end of Spark Week on Sunday, February 20. Uh, stay tuned because you won't get the Spark immediately. Uh, you get the Sparks 
at uh, Tuesday. Each Tuesday you will receive your sparks uh, that you receive through hunting. So right now, gray spark chest is 0 0.04. When you when you would have a chance to get like if if I had a spark treasure right now, I would get 0 0.02 usually. But with a sparked up week, um, you can get 0 0.04, and that's like 50% more. That's a lot. Well, these blue spark chest, metal spark chest, and spark chest, I don't know how to get them. I never did with boosted spark treasure to hunt, but I will definitely do it from now on. And I will uh, keep you guys up to date. What I would do uh, from February 17 till February 20, I will record every treasure hunt that I am doing to keep an eye on how much sparks I received and how much uh, UPX I made a loss or prof or, or i made like a profit i i need to like i need to like record for three days long then i will compensate those long videos into one short video where we can estimate how much percentage you have to gain the spark treasure chest because uh i asked in discord they said you have five percent chance to get sparks but sparks is the best resource in the game and a lot of people are telling me do the spark treasure it's worth your money and worth your time because eventually you need those sparks to build uh, for the people that don't know what spark is my bad when you press on your profile over here um, and when you go uh, lower down on your profile you can see spark balance i have 0 0.7 it's not much at all but you need sparks to build the more sparks, the quicker things go. As an example, I got this property, Sanctuary City. Spark hours is 2,600. Construction time is 21 days. And these people have staked their sparks in my property. Um, 2, 3, 3.3, 3.6-ish. So 3.6 sparks is taking 21 days. 3.6 sparks, okay? Look at this. I got here like uh, 0 0.22. It takes 479 days compared to this one. That's a lot of difference. So you can see how much, how important sparks are in the game. The best resource you can have. The more sparks you have, the quicker you can build. The more you can build, the higher the prices go. Just simple as that. Don't forget, never come below uh, six cents, please. I mean, uh, below one cent, please. Otherwise, you need to wait a whole day almost. Uh, it gets reset at 1 a.m., I think, or something. I don't know exactly which area time, but um, it gets reset on a certain time. But you need to wait a couple hours till, or maybe even a whole day before it gets um, refreshed. So keep in mind, always go for cents. And usually if I would have a treasure right now, I could see over there a cent. So what I would do is I would send myself, I would send myself to this property uh, to pick up the cents. And then I would press on the property and press on treasure and look if I'm nearby. Um, just a little tip. So you can have one more cent each time and maybe you are close to the treasure. That being said, if there are any questions please comment below or you can always join my discord in the description below as well everyone is welcome it's just between friends and we're just discussing about los angeles and i'm sometimes giving some tips or just tracking some data and really helpful bots and other services it through my um discord server so that being said if you think this video is helpful Please leave a like and subscribe for even more until the next video.